Hello all. Welcome to this tutorial on how to perform internal testing for an Android app on the Google Play Store using Google Play Developer Console. Once you have made the Android game it is a good practice to create a test release on Google Play Developer Console. A test release gives you a platform to make your application available to testers on Google Play Store before rolling it out to production. By putting it out to Play Store you can test your application for how it would actually work in production when it is available to users. You can create a release on three different testing tracks. First is Open Testing. Open Testing releases are available to testers on Google Play. Users can join tests from your store listing. Second is Closed Testing. Closed testing releases are available to a limited number of testers that you choose, who can test a pre-release version of your app and submit feedback. And third is internal testing. Internal testing releases are available to up to 100 testers that you choose. We will have a look at internal testing how we can set it up. Once this is understood it would become self-explanatory to perform other two testing types in case you need to perform testing on them as per your requirements. Here are the steps we need to follow. First log in to Google Play Developer Console. You can get its link from the description below. It is assumed that you have already created a testing track for your Android application. To set it up for internal testing click on your application on the home page of Google Play Developer Console. As an example here I have an application called SpyRun in production to which internal testing was already performed. So, we will click on it. On the left pane window go to release section and under it click on testing. This will expand the options for testing. Since we are going to cover internal testing here we will click on internal testing. As you can see here a test release is already created with version name 13. This information is under the release tab. We will click on testers to set up internal testing. Up to 100 testers can join your internal tests. You can choose more than 100 testers, but only the first 100 to join will be successful. They will be able to download and test your application on Google Play Store, but their app install will not be counted as a real one contributing to actual downloads. This is how an application for internal test will look like on Google Play Store. As you can see an application name it is mentioned as internal beta. Also, there is a comment in red which says the application is available for internal testers. So, to set up internal testing in testers section you will see a default list name called owner. A list name represents the list under which one or more email IDs will be added. The owner will, by default, be the owner of Google Play Developer Console account who is logged in. On clicking on the arrow next to it will present you with an email list editor. To this we can add one or more email addresses, separated by comma. As an example I will add an email ID pressing enter confirms the selection. You can also upload a CSV file having list of all the email addresses separated by comma. Under section email addresses added we can see the newly added email ID. We will save the changes and go back. Under feedback URL or email address we can add the web link of a site or the email ID where we can give the feedback. Next is the link where testers can join on the web with the link and perform their testing. You can copy the link by clicking on copy link and then share it with all the testers. I hope this helped you. Please subscribe, like, comment and share my channel for more fun videos and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.